One of the things that I noticed after a little bit of shooting, uh, and I, I know this is other people have discussed this online, is that when chambering around, the round that gets chambered is just fine, but the round in the magazine underneath it that follows up tends to um, get rubbed by the bottom of the bolt here and it actually shaves some of the lead and I have uh, some uh, CCI mini mag solids copper plated and you could see that it was shaving plowing right a, a little furrow right off the edge of the bullet in the magazine. Um, in my opinion damaging a projectile is never a good idea and it's never conducive to accuracy. Yeah. Okay here is the bolt out of the Ruger American Rimfire. And here is its approximate relationship to the magazine. As it cycles back and forth. Just like that. Now the problem I found How close can I zoom in here? It was on the bottom of this bolt. I can actually catch a fingernail right there. Sorry. I very lightly smoothed off the tool marks on this surface right here and rounded off that corner so I, I couldn't catch a fingernail. Once I did that, I, uh, I tried cycling some rounds through my magazine and uh, I completely eliminated the uh, lead and lubricant shaving off of the rounds in the magazine. As long as I'm looking at burrs and, and going crazy about burrs, one thing I noticed here on the back shroud of my bolt, there's some scratches and that's just only after a few hundred rounds. I'm also noticing some scratches on the bolt that seem to be originated from this corner right here. I can hardly tell there's a burr there, but it's sure it's not just burnishing the rifle, it's, it's putting some scratches into the rifle. Other places as I work my way around here on this edge, I can sure catch a fingernail on that. I'm going to take that little burr off too. You see in here where the, the shiny spot is, that, that's actually in just a few hundred rounds. I've worn through the blue and, and I've got a, a deep enough scratch in the inside of my receiver that I can catch a fingernail on there. So I'm going to take care of that. And the part in the shroud that I showed you that corresponds to the very back of the receiver right there. So I'm going to lightly stone the inside of that receiver and, and take out any burrs that I can find there. Before I hit the buffer I'm going to just pull this extractor out of here. Pop that little clip out. The extractor comes off. Help if I show the right side. Pop that in the extractor comes out. The firing pin won't come out yet. It looks like I need to take the back of the bolt apart as well and I don't really want to do that. But I just partially disassembled the bolt. Let's get down on the buffer and just break those edges ever so slightly.
Okay. I just rolled the leading bolt face across here just to break a couple. I, I noticed some scratching on the uh, inside of the receiver. I'd already buffed the bottom of this bolt here where it was catching the, the, mag, the rounds in the magazine. And I noticed a couple of burrs, I think down on here, where I was catching a fingernail. And I just, and I just knocked those off. You can do that with a stone or a real fine cuts file. Just take your time. Don't overdo it. On. It is so easy to overdo things and go from like making things run smoother to making things a big mess. Um, also, a person could say, you know, gee, why don't you just shoot the thing a little bit more and let it all kind of work, it so work itself together, burnish itself in. And, and I'm all for that. However, when you have a when you're seeing scratches, you know not just like light burn marks, but literally scratches in the, in the surface of your bolt. Uh, to me, that's uh, not something that I want to just allow to work together. I want to do some get in there and, and smooth that up. None of these things should in any way affect accuracy, other than that bottom of the bolt plow and lead and, and lube off the bottoms of the, off the tops of the bullets in the magazine. Otherwise, all I'm doing is just smoothing things up a little bit. While I had the bolt apart, this is the extractor, and I noticed a little bit of a minor burr right there on the cutting edge, on, on not where it would catch on a rim, like that, but we're hanging out the front here. And so I did a real light touch on that on the on the deburring wheel. And also what looks like a pencil clip for a flashlight or something is the other side of the extractor, this little leaf spring. I um, also I touched the bottom edge of that ever so lightly just to take care of this. That's just a stamped spring. Let's put this bolt back together. We're done with it. See if I can remember how to put it back together. All right. Extractor goes back in like that. I'm going to hold that in place. And then, all right, I just, I lined it up here. And then, just put some pressure on it until it's those two little ears on either side of the spring pop back into the extractor groove. So there we have it. It's all back together. Having Now that we're done deburring the bolt, when I, I tested it with some uh, loaded magazine and cycled it back and forth, and uh, I can see the, the lightest rub mark, but it doesn't look like it's plowing any lube, and it's certainly not damaging the bullet.